Hi, I'm Dr. Sumaya Clark and I'll be telling you a little bit about the Department of Earth Sciences and our Environmental and Water Sciences curriculum or course or program <coughs> and some of what you are likely to be doing within this course and also what kind of careers it um, opens up for you uh, once you have your degree. So. In terms of our curriculum, we are probably the only university in the country where you are able to do surface water, groundwater, geomorphology and ecosystem studies in one department. Most other universities have either a surface water focus or a groundwater focus, where here we aim to advance the understanding of the entire water cycle from, from all these different perspectives. In other words, we are uniquely positioned nationally with respect to these um, different fields. If you look at the diagram on the left, you'll see some of the processes that you kind of get into depth with um, during your studies. With this, we also look at the management of the resource, as well as the assessment of the resource and in-depth investigation of some of these processes. So what are the types of things that we get involved in? In terms of research, if you are from Cape Town or, or Eastern Cape at the moment, you would know that there was a big issue with water availability, dams almost drying up, which they called it day zero. So we are required to solve environmental and water problems where we look at the physical aspects, the governance aspects, as well as the social aspects of these kind of problems. So some of the examples of research that we do, or the types of research that we do, include studies looking at remote sensing of atmospheric and earth surface processes. And then in terms of groundwater, we look at resource quantity and quality assessment. <coughs> Things like uh, delineating or deciding where to drill a borehole, um, determining how much water is available, determining the properties of the subsurface, um, also <coughs> telling people just how much of a particular resource they can use within the groundwater um, environment. Then we also look at surface water processes and geomorphology, so how a landscape changes, the rate at which it changes, and monitoring of all the different processes that occur. If we consider career options, you have quite a number of them. Uh, because you are exposed to surface water, groundwater, geomorphology, environmental management, um, all of those possibilities. So it's possible for you to end up being an environmental practitioner. You can also be, become a hydrogeologist a hydrologist. There's quite a long list of possible 
jobs that this course exposes you to or opens you up to getting. Um, I am a hydrogeologist. I work with, in our department, we have hydrologists, we even have remote sensing specialists, we have modelers. Um, yeah, so there's quite a, 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 a big uh, list of, of possible jobs that you can enter into. So if you're wondering who you can work for, um, from looking at our graduates from our department, we have people working for government entities, example Petroleum Agency, South African Weather Services, <coughs> and also in local government and municipalities. A good example of this is the city of Cape Town. You can also enter into industry, and that would include the mining industry and oil and gas industry. And then also into education and research institutions. I worked for a very long time at the CSIR as a researcher. <coughs> so there are many possibilities. Also government departments like the Department of Water and Sanitation, even Minerals and Energy and Environmental Affairs. So if we consider the degree structure at UWC, if you enter into the EWS program, you will be doing a Bachelor of Science in Environmental and Water Sciences, which comprises a number of courses which cover earth science, uh, groundwater science, surface water science, geomorphology, um, environmental management, resource assessment, and, and all of those. Then once you've graduated with your BSc, you also have the option, depending on your marks you obtain, of course, um, to enter into a BSc Honours in Environmental and Water Science, or you have the option to do a postgraduate diploma in integrated water resource management. Um, once you have successfully completed those, you have the option or you can also proceed to an MSc or Masters in Environmental and Water Science. And we also offer a PhD in Environmental and Water Science. Similarly, for the Integrated Water Resource Management, there's an MPhil and a PhD. Um, those opportunities exist within our department. <coughs> so, very interestingly and exciting, uh, within our field, there's lots of field work, um, and especially on undergrad level, you get to learn how to take the different measurements, which means you go out into the field. Um, and by field, I mean actual rivers, boreholes, um, yeah, out in nature, basically. Um, that's an example of some of the measurement tools being used um, on the right you see in a river. On the left is part of a weather station. So yes, we go out and sample along our river courses, canals, uh, borehole water, Here are some examples of fieldwork where you can see a group of students and researchers out in the field.
Thank you. I hope uh, that you have gathered enough information um, and we will certainly be available if you have any questions that you need to ask about the course.